your question about a toy that I received that it had to have been so monumental that it stuck with me today. There's one story, um, if I could. Go ahead. <laughs> Get your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. All right. When I was growing up, started off, we were kind of middle class. And something happened where my dad ended up losing his job because the company that he was working for got bought out. And so they fired everyone, brought everyone back, new people in. And so we went from middle class down to food stamps and whatnot. And there was one particular Christmas. I remember my parents telling me that there was not going to be anything at all underneath the Christmas tree. Um, and I remember going to school and I told one of my best friends, Rob, I told him that, you know, I'm kind of feeling discouraged, feeling down because this was like the first Christmas. No, no, no presents, no, no, nothing. We weren't even going to have a dinner. And I know that there's other kids out there and I don't want to water that down. This is just my story. And he kept on trying to cheer me up and it wasn't working. And then Christmas came, no Christmas tree, no gifts, no Christmas dinner, but we got a ding dong. I wish I had that sound right now. Ding dong, <laughs> ding dong. At the door and I ran out there and nobody was there and it was a bag. So I go and open it. And it was a dollar store, like doll, like a girl doll. <laughs> <laughs> just a cheap little thing and it was from my friend Rob Aww. and the point of the story was this that brightened up my day <laughs> I got a girl doll I didn't open it and I was I was older than a little kid but the thought mattered and his actions mattered. And I don't know, I don't even know if he knows this to this day, how much it meant to me. Just some simple action of going above and beyond. And he, I know he didn't have a whole lot of money, but he went to the dollar store, bought me a girl, and I still have it. Wow. So to this day, I do, I'm not going to give that up. It, That's awesome. It, I'm telling you, it left that much of a mark on me to say, be grateful for what you've got. Don't yeah. want more. Just be appreciative to the lifestyle that I have. And especially looking back now, I don't know how it is for you guys, but it is for me. I look back and Man, I was so rough on my dad. I was so judgmental and just, man, why can't you just this and that? And now that I'm older, how much understanding and like, oh my gosh, I totally get my dad. I oh get my it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's but, a good, that's a good friend, man. That's, that's a my, really good friend. Yeah. You see, I still friends till this day. Unfortunately, I do. I have not kept track with him. I did see him at an event because I do do comic cons and whatnot. I do art, and I'm currently working on my debut children's book. But I, I ran into him a, a while back, and it was really cool to see him. I, I but I haven't. I don't know if I've really told him how much that meant to me because it it seriously left a mark on me, and I still do own it. It's in a box in the garage. That is awesome. Uh, I, I'm Thank more of a sure. DC person. And who do you gravitate mm -hmm. more to? Uh, I've always been, I, I love DC. Like I love Batman and Superman, but my guy has always been Spider-Man uh, ever since I was a kid. Spider-Man to me was my, it, and still is my favorite superhero. Why? Because Peter Parker, you know, like I'm not, I'm not Bruce Wayne. 
I'm not Clark Kent. I'm not I'm not big, you know what I mean? Like but Peter Parker, you know, like if you can be Spider-Man, like you know what I mean? I could resonate and connect with the little Peter Parker dude that eventually became a superhero and just started whooping butt, you know, with all these villains across the uh, New York City. So I always connected with Peter Parker and Spider-Man and I just also love the the humorous don't take yourself too seriously angle that that uh, Spider-Man always had. They're always cracking jokes and you know making fun of making fun of the bad guys as he beats them. I just thought that was so much fun, you know. So. And he resonates with so much people from different age groups yeah. uh, and he's been around so much. So much people can relate to that character because that character really embodies everyone in in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Dino, uh any any thoughts or any questions for Will? Yeah, well, I just wanted to share a few thoughts real quick that uh, I think you nailed it right on the head when you said that we're having digital experiences that give us a real life reaction, right? And so these yeah. kids are interacting with digital things and they are getting um, excitement and enjoyment out of that yeah. in the physical world. And I think we're only going to see that more as we see technology uh, grow and with the VR experiences, it's having a real effect on the brain, right? Like you're doing things in the phys uh, in the digital world, but it's having a real effect on the the physical world. And so I think that's what's really cool about the the digital age that we're going into. And and you said you you've always been kind of technologically minded, but let let's go back a hundred years in time. Let's say it's 1923. What type of business would you start? Would it still be a toy business? What without the technology aspect of it? Uh, what what would you be doing? 1923. <laughs> great question, Dino. Don't worry it's about going to World War One, friend. You know, or whatever. But it's yeah. such a great question. 1923. You know what I would do? Because 1923, it just so happens to be the year that the Walt Disney Company was founded. So I would in 19 because remember it's the 100 year anniversary right now, right? So 100 years ago. I'd find Walt and I'd beg him for a job uh, <laughs> at Walt Disney Company. I'd whatever you need, dude, I'll get I'll, I'll be your, you know, the right hand guy. You need me to go get you stuff. I'll go get you coffee. You need me to go get you coffee. I'll go to the local. There's no Starbucks in 1923. So, uh, you know, I'll go to the local uh, the local shop and get you coffee, whatever is necessary. I just want to be a part of your your empire that you're building, sir. I'm a, I'm a big future fan. In the future, you're kind of a big deal. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to hang around. So I would just be, uh, I would just be hanging around Walt. I say in 1923. <laughs> I love it. Good and <laughs> what would you know? In 2023, you're you're in a partnership with Disney. So that's it's amazing. It's a cool full circle. It's great because yeah, yeah people is. jump into into these projects. They don't know anything about Web three, and then you meet people like all you guys, great people, and you just learn on the way just learn how to do it and it's fantastic but definitely never rush into it for sure yeah that's for sure i still gotta do all my research to figure out the whole yeah um coinbase like wallets um eth weath ethereum yeah. like there's just so much and i'm glad that i know like you guys um and other people out there that have like you know their channels that do like step by step on how to do these things that we trust to go and get educated from but delilah you're good though with it right because you you've bought drop heads so like you've wrapped your polygon before right um i well i had help from hinano and the the oh, shitty thing guys. is hey we got bro, bro. A panel now where are you? <laughs> 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 the Friday. BB poet himself, the Juju poet. What is up, Froey Comey? <laughs> He's working on a poetry segment, right? The star boy? Love the hat, Fro. What's going on? <laughs> no, no, Continue, Bones. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just saying, I was just saying, you guys uh are pretty good already and delilah was saying that uh she was learning from you hananu uh how to wrap polygon because through the drop hits because i was like yeah you guys have bought many drop hits before so you guys have wrapped polygon before so you guys should know you know what i mean you guys are seem like you're good with it and oh, yeah. 
I'm I'm not honestly. Um, so I just give uh, Hinato money and he does it. <laughs> See the thing about.